Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. In this episode we're going to cover the nightmare that is corrupt video files. So let's dive in. Apart from crashing your drone, a corrupt video file is probably the worst thing that can happen. I've traveled out to a remote location, spent hours there finding the right spot. In this case, got some video of a kestrel sat on a wall, race home, put it on the computer and when you click on the file the dreaded error message appears. Panic sets in, your head drops to your hands, you reach for the bottle of whiskey but don't panic, there's no need, save the whiskey to celebrate later. There is a way I've found of repairing these corrupt files. Now these corrupt files can occur, in my case it's normally because I've stupidly landed the drone whilst it's still recording video and then turned the drone off without telling the drone to stop recording and that always saves the file but corrupts it. It could also happen if you've got a dodgy memory card but what we'll look at now is how we're going to repair that file for free. So the first thing you want to do is to head over to this website I'll put the link in the description of the video and they've got this brilliant video repair tool which you can download a trial of or you can purchase. Now the trial will only repair 50% of your video but we'll come round to that in a minute. It's available for Mac and Windows. If you've got a lot of problems with damaged videos then I suppose it might be worth buying it but it's only happened to me on the few occasions so I go down the the free route that I've found. If you download it, click on the link, save the file, then extract it. Now this doesn't require installation, it just runs as a standalone. We have the software ready to use. Next thing we need to do is a bit of housekeeping. So in a location that's easy to find, in my case it's in the root of my F drive, I've got the corrupt video and you need a working video that's been shot from your drone because it needs a reference video to use. The corrupt video needs to be renamed something easy, I call it 1.mp4 and then you need to make a second copy of this. So copy and paste it and then rename that. 2.mp4 so you've got two identical copies of your corrupt video the reason for this is the software will only repair 50% of your video on the free trial version so what we're going to do is join those two files together into one video and then when it repairs the 50% it's actually repairing your full video clever I think so in order to join these two files together open up the command prompt by right click on start run cmd I've got mine saved in the root of the F drive so I want to change to the F drive let's say for example you add them in a folder I'll create a folder on here and call that repair and then I can move those two files in. you could then change directory And now we're in that so we're now in the directory in the folder where the files are saved then you need to type in copy forward slash b space one dot mp4 plus two dot mp4 that's why i renamed them to short file names rather than long file names press enter So now if we look in our folder and see that the file is now twice the length it used to be. So as I say when we repair 50% of it for free it's actually repairing the full video. Next thing is open up our software. Choose our language. As you can see it warns us that it's only going to repair 50% of the movie but that's fine for us. So we choose 
our movie and then as I mentioned before you need a reference movie from your drone that works fine and then click scan let the software do its thing with fingers toes and eyes crossed it's come up with the name in there so that should be done if that box comes up blank you have to try running it again we've now got a new folder called repaired and in there we've got fingers crossed our repaired video so we can close that down so now we can click on our video and hey presto a working file And there we have our kestrel sitting on the wall that I thought I'd lost. Now this, just as an aside, this video was shot on the two times zoom at 4K. And it does lose quite a bit of picture quality. So I'm going to have a look at what I can do to improve that and probably put a video together on that. I think that neat video might be able to help improve that image so thank you for watching i hope you found that helpful if so consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on future videos thank you very much